Good morning, today is Friday, March 26. For lunch today, there's a sub with deli turkey or ham, lettuce, tomato, and pickles, or crispy chicken wrap, or cheese or sausage pizza. In grades four through five, today is a B day. In grades six through eight, it's an A day. During gym recess, the Boys and Girls Club option is available for Ms. Brooks and Ms. Laner's advisories. Today, we're wishing happy birthday to Chris Smits in the fifth grade, Emma Spencer in the fifth grade, and Andrew Wenzel in the eighth grade. Tomorrow, we're wishing a happy birthday to Francisco Vega in the eighth grade. On Sunday, happy birthday to Ambrosia Wallenfong in the fourth grade. Heading into next week, we're wishing a happy birthday on March 29th to Fletcher Brock in the seventh grade and Logan DeKaiser in the sixth grade. On March 30th, happy birthday to Daisy Diaz in the eighth grade and Caden Wallen in the eighth grade. On March 31st, happy birthday to Jake Gutierrez in the 4th grade. On April 2nd, happy birthday to Declan Christiansen in the 7th grade and Colby Combs in the 4th grade. On April 3rd, happy birthday to Emma Capellish in the 7th grade. And April 4th, happy birthday to Hallie Anderson in the 8th grade. Hey everybody, so if you look at the trees in Nakusa this time of the year, basically it's still a bunch of sticks. The leaves haven't come in and that's what it kind of looks like. Well, Germany is very similar in climate to here. However, they have a tradition for hundreds of years that they'll go ahead and make things a little bit more colorful. Check it out. In Germany during the springtime, it's a long-standing tradition to hang colored Easter eggs in the mostly bare branches of both trees and bushes. But we're not talking plastic Easter eggs here. For the most part, people blow the insides out of an Easter egg by putting a pinprick at both sides and then coloring and decorating the outside. For people without a yard, it's common to take these spring branches inside and decorate them there. But there's a man in Germany named Volker Kraft who probably gets into this tradition more than anybody else. He started in 1965 and since then hangs about 10,000 eggs on his tree every year. Volker Kraft planted a small apple tree in the 1960s and started decorating it when his children were little. But as the tree and the children grew, their family kept adding more eggs to it every year. By doing a little bit every year over several decades, it's amazing to see what it's now become. We are now at 10,000 eiern angekommen and now there is no steigerung mehr. Denn ich habe keine Lagerkapazität mehr. Ich müsste sonst mit den Eiern schlafen. Und vor 47 Jahren war dieser Baum ein Bäumchen und war mit 18 Plastereiern voll. Und was sich dann entwickelt, wenn der Baum wächst, die Frau ausbläst, die Kinder malen, das sieht man hier nach 47 Jahren. Ja, ich finde ihn toll, der ist so schön bunt und die Eier sind gut, finde ich cool, die sind cool. So even though you and your family probably aren't hanging Easter eggs in trees, you probably have a few traditions that you'll do this time of year. Please share those with somebody in your class, and hey, during spring break, maybe get a chance to do a couple of them. Enjoy, you take care.